Welcome to Core Concepts from Dent Head Gaming. Let's see this build. You guys have got to check this out. I call it Southpaw. And uh, so it's a melee combat AC. We've got nothing on the right arm because that is his, uh, basically uh, what I call the jab arm. So he, d he throws jabs with his right. Uh, we got a coquillet. Uh, as the starting one on the on the left, that's so I can build up stagger over time. Got an Etsujin on the back right. Usually, as soon as the match starts, I go ahead and throw that into the right arm because I don't need a punch yet. I uh, use the Etsujin, the Kokuilet to bring out, bring up the stagger. Usually, get them two stagger. As soon as I get two stagger, I switch the Etsujin back into the back slot and I bring up the uh, the the. The Wurger, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but the, the Wurger shotgun, and I begin punching the opponent to extend the stagger. I get my three punches in, usually on about the second punch, I'll start charging the the Wurgen, and it's fully charged by the time I'm, I get that third punch in, because it's got the really, really fast, really fast charge time. And that thing hits for like, I think it's over 1800 AP damage. That's my main. So basically, I throw three right jabs and then this massive left hook and that's why i call this one southpaw so uh anyway we've got uh vp44 for because it's got it's got really decent stats all the way around it's got the third highest stability in the game which is pretty nice we've got the uh, mind alpha really good stable core focuses on uh energy because uh, you, you want to be able to fly around. you got to be able to outmaneuver. You have no defenses really in this build. I mean, it's it's oh, it's decently high. It's got a 1135 average. But yeah, there's only so much you can take. The AP is pretty high on this. So it, it's kind of a lighter weight build. It's got a lot of speed. And it's got decent defenses so to keep you in the fight. So that's what, if you're going against like a heavyweight. Because you're going to be in the match a lot longer. Nocturne hires because you really, really want your shots to hit you just need them to hit they have to hit so uh so definitely need that uh definitely need that uh, uh firearm uh what's it called again firearm something Ugh. well you need a target tracking basically it's it's the component that does target tracking i can't remember it's fire fire firearm specialization i feel dumb now because i forgot that and the alba is because i need lightweight i need a higher stability um because i'm gonna be constantly moving trying to get that uh, we, we put with the beast monsters in there, the the, the beast generation two uh, P06 speeds because I need that I need that speed. I I I gotta be able to stay mobile. Uh, Ocellus because uh, well I mean just look at my weapon setup. I'm all close range, uh, and that just makes the most sense. No missiles, so there you go. Uh, the VE20B generator. A lot of you guys are probably questioning why, and that is uh, for its. Uh, energy firearm spec right here. It's got the highest one and that really makes that left hook for that shotgun, that charged shotgun shot. Mm, bueno. Uh, I tested it in the in the uh, in the in the test zone and when you got him in stagger uh, with the multiplier that that thing has, it's 5,554 AP gone. So I mean, after the combo, you're looking at basically one rotation of your weapons, and you get the win. You're, you're killing whatever your opponent is. So, assuming they don't, uh, you know, beat you two stagger, but hopefully you maneuver. And then I got pulse armor, just in case uh, they do build up stagger faster than you. So hopefully you can get in there and, and mess them up. All right. You could also, I think, run assault armor on this pretty well. I chose not to. Uh, because, well, honestly, I don't like being blinded by the light. I think Assault Armor is just, it's so bright, and I lose track of my opponent every time. So, when I run Assault Armor, it's, it's usually on builds that have really high defenses, and I can track very well with. Anyway, so I ran that build... I'm running this build. I'm going to guys show you what this thing can do. Hopefully, uh, I, I literally wanted to make this video because I went against uh, Air. I went against Air, not in the mission, but in her uh, F Mira build. Uh, let's see here. In the analysis, this one. I went against this one. I actually got perfect. She didn't even shoot me one time, and I wiped her. It was pretty impressive. But let me guys, let me just show you guys the combo. I'm gonna. Go ahead and 
I'm going to do a real easy one here, Invincible Rummy. I'm going to pick on Invincible Rummy here. Just because just I want to show you guys what this thing can do. It's it's a lot of fun. Welcome to the arena combat Uh-huh, yeah. I, get, I got it. Let's go. Game system. Activating combat mode. Ah! I didn't get him to stagger! Oh, jeez. It just feels good. So, it, Rummy actually got me with his shotgun. I mean, obviously not a whole lot of damage, but I could not believe I beat Air without taking a hit. Like, it was just insane. I don't know how I did that. I probably just got really lucky. But yeah, uh, definitely a really fun melee build right here for you guys. So, if you like it, take it. <laughs> I will, let me, let me go ahead and pop a share code for you guys while we're here. Give me one sec. Where is this build? He's under my experimentals. Yep, there we go. This is one of my experimentals I've been working with. So let me go ahead and upload. Yes. All right, guys. We've got a share code here. If you like the content, go ahead and like and subscribe. And uh, hopefully I'll see you again in another video. And we'll uh, talk about big giant robots blowing stuff up. Thanks. It's been a lot of fun. Bye.